So, yeah, it's been an hour. So I doubt it's going to calculate anytime soon. Um, just kind of prove my point how it doesn't work. But uh, basically what happens is if it's mirrored UVs and it's trying to figure out the ambient occlusion for the top area, the top area and the bottom area are the same. So what happens, it keeps switching back and forth. It's like, oh, I calculated for the bottom area. Wait, now I need to calculate for the top area. Wait, now I need to calculate for the bottom area. So it, it's it's not trapped in so much as a loop. It will eventually, like maybe three hours later, figure itself out. But it will be horrible looking. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. So... That's the advantage of not having mirrored UVs is the fact that you can bake textures. Now, does everything get baked? Well, you know, there there's certain things that you don't bake. But we're going to get into um, a couple little things that can be done to make objects better looking with this baked kind of uh, approach. So head on to the next video. You can hit escape a few times. You're never going to calculate the barrel. Your children's children might see it. And trust me when I say you have to hit the escape key quite a bit to get out of it. And then head on to, to the next video where we can kind of look at, you know, things that we can do to the mesh um, to make it look beveled in certain areas and how ambient occlusion works.